Now let's discuss what is this sympathico-adrenal system. Well, you can just make out from this word that we are talking about the sympathico means the sympathetic nervous system and adrenal means the adrenal gland. So, I am talking about the integration of the sympathetic nervous system and the adrenal medulla which form this sympathico-adrenal system. Now, what happens? There is stimulation of sympathetic nerves to adrenal medulla. When there is such stimulation by the sympathetic nervous system, right? Which is, which is the role of, what is the role of the sympathetic nervous system? The role of this sympathetic nervous system is the involuntary actions control. For example, I told you that the muscle of your heart, it is going to be controlled by this. So, the sympathetic nervous system, it is going to stimulate the adrenal medulla to release its hormones. What are the two hormones of adrenal medulla? These two hormones are the adrenaline hormone and the noradrenaline hormone. This adrenaline hormone is the emergency hormone which is going to you know show the response that we call as the fight or flight response. The fight or flight response that is why this is you can say the emergency hormone of your body. So, when there is stimulation by the sympathetic nervous system to adrenal medulla, the adrenal medulla is going to secrete large quantities of these hormones that is the adrenaline hormone and the noradrenaline hormone into your blood. And this is then carried to all the tissues of your body where they are going to produce major effects. And as I told you, you know, we have just discussed the example that when you see a lion, you are going to get scared, you are going to run fast to save your life, right? So, what is going to happen? There will be increased heartbeat. You know, increase blood pressure because you need more energy, you need more oxygen, you have a faster breathing rate because you are going to run very fast. Your muscles are going to act properly so that you can run fast. So, this situation is an emergency situation and during this situation, the hormone adrenaline is going to act. How the two, you know, effects that is the acceleration of the heartbeat, the raising of the blood pressure, these, these are the effects that are going to be there when this emergency hormone is going to be released during emergency situations, right. So, as a whole, what I am trying to say is that the sympathetic nervous system and the adrenal medulla, they are going to integrate and this integrated system we call as sympathico-adrenal system because they work together, they work together and they produce effects together. So, that is why this system is also known as the sympathico-adrenal system. Now, when we discuss the two parts of adrenal gland that is the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla, what are the major differences that you can cite here? Well, adrenal cortex forms the 75 percent of the adrenal gland while adrenal medulla it forms only 25 percent of the adrenal gland. Now, adrenal cortex is formed from the mesoderm of the embryo while adrenal medulla is formed from the ectoderm of the embryo. This was about origin, right? Then adrenal cortex hormones release, it is controlled by ACTH. ACTH is the hormone that is secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. So, the release of hormones from the adrenal cortex, it is going to be regulated by ACTH that is the hormone secreted by the anterior lobe of pituitary gland, right? This is what adrenocorticotrophic hormone, it is adrenocorticotrophic hormone and the release of hormones from adrenal medulla we have discussed here, it is going to be under the control of what? The sympathetic nerves, it is going to be under control of sympathetic nervous system. So, you can make out the difference between the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla in this way. Remember, the adrenal medulla release of hormones is going to be stimulated by the sympathetic nerves of your sympathetic nervous system. But the release of hormones from the adrenal cortex is going to be under the control of ACTH which is a hormone secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland. So, you can make out the differences, well the adrenal cortex has these three zones right, but the adrenal medulla has no such zones. So, you can make out the difference between the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla in this way. Now, remember that this is sympathico adrenal system that is the integrated system of sympathetic nervous system plus the adrenal medulla right. I hope this is clear to you.